This could be fun. Hello guys, how are you? David the Franco here from DavidTheFranco.com as well as DavidStings.com. Check it out if you're interested in seeing all of the amiibo that I'm about to show as well as my video games I'll show in a future video and all that good stuff. Anyway, today's video is all about this beauty. Well, I should say these beauties because this is technically two cube organizers stacked on top of one another and I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of it. A lot of work has gone into it and just keep in mind, I'm still in the early stages so a lot of the items you see on these shelves or cubes or whatever may not be here a week or two from now. Uh, for instance, Darth Vader and Yoda could very well move in just a matter of days. So I'm just putting that out there. This is not final. This is very, very early. But I figured why not give you guys an early look. So let's do it. So this is what the shelves look like from back here. Very nice, very nice. And please ignore the cardboard boxes and whatever because I obviously just got done opening some things recently. But anyway, let's do a brief tour of everything I have on these shelves and in these cubes. So let's do this. Up here is my Amiibo collection. As you can see, I have quite a few. Although, I will say I don't have as many Amiibo as the hardcore collectors out there. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm very proud of how far I've come because I gotta be honest, when Nintendo first announced Amiibo, I didn't get the point. I just wasn't interested at all. And then I started collecting a few and well, it quickly turned into a drug, of which I'm sure many of you can relate to. It's just a lot of fun to collect and well, they just look freaking awesome on display. Now, these Amiibo will probably not be here next time you see this shelf on camera because my goal is to evenly distribute these Amiibo in the foreground of each and every cube, which I think would look awesome because that frees up space up top for bigger items, like my Wilson ball, perhaps, my Dexter coaster collection, my question mark block or whatever you want to call it from, you know, Mario and all that good stuff, this Call of Duty Nuketown set that I just bought myself the other day, my Tetris blocks, and all that good stuff. But anyway, we will talk about that in the near future. So let's go cube by cube. There's my Wilson ball. Yes, I'm a huge fan of Castaway. Yoda and Darth Vader, little bobbleheads. And a very well-designed artistic piece of Stitch from my friend Alfred. So shout out to youtube.com slash Ada Blossy. Beautiful art piece. And I just think it looks very good there. Moving to the next cube, we have some Animal Crossing collectibles. We have Porter, KK Slider, and Nook in plush form. And of course, down here we have some more Animal Crossing things. We have the Villager, KK Slider Pins. I believe, I can't think of their names right now. I feel terrible, I cannot think of their names right now. Um, I'll look it up later. And there's Isabel. Next cube, we have a Super Mario Pillow, Yoshi Plushie, Toon Link Plushie, and three Yoshi's Woolly World Amiibo. Yes, these are actually Amiibo. These are not just plushies. So these are, without a doubt in my mind, some of my favorite Amiibo to date. They're just very cool. And cute as hell. Come on. Who can deny that? Next cube. And I don't mean the Apple product. Bad joke. Anyway, Isabel. I believe her name is Reese. Isn't that it? Or Reese, Reese or something. So that is her right there. Her name is kind of skipping my mind at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it's something like Reese. And we've got some Halo collectibles, Master Chief just chilling on a Minecraft cube. I realize those two don't belong together, but you know what? In my opinion, that looks pretty good. Some Halo weapons, a Geek Fest pin. Yes, check out my Geek Fest vlog. I will link that right below if you're interested. And this is a Master Chief helmet that I got with one of my several Mega Block sets. And I think it looks pretty sweet there. And moving down here, we have a zombie survival guide. Yes, this is an actual book that somebody took the time to write, and apparently it's a New York Times bestseller. So, if there's ever an actual zombie apocalypse, this is the book to refer to. I'm not joking. Yes, that's an actual book, which is kind of funny. Godzilla. Actually, let me take him out for a second. 
Jesus Christmas. Anyway, watch this. How do you do it again? Oh, yeah, so boom. Isn't that awesome? I love it. I'm a huge, huge fan of the new Godzilla movies. Oh, come on. Now, I'm trying to do all this with one hand. This is the problem with tour videos. I try to make it organized. Whatever, Godzilla. You just stay there. I will fix that later. But guys, you know what? I never really go for the pro style. I'm always myself, and I hope you guys can appreciate that. I'm gonna have to fix Daryl later. And Zombie Survival Guide fell. Anyway, speaking of Daryl, there's Daryl and the governor from The Walking Dead. Here's a Walking Dead glass. How awesome is that? Very cool. Actually, it's more of a cup, isn't it? Not a glass. Or maybe it is a glass with paint around the side. I don't know. It just looks cool. And some Mario Kart um, little figures. We got Donkey Kong, Yoshi, Mario. And this is an 8-bit mushroom that a viewer made for me. Simply awesome. And more pins that I got from Geek Fest, Mario and Yoshi. Excellent. Down here is Crash Bandicoot. I literally have like 20 of them. So that's like one out of 20. The other ones I think are in my parents' basement. I got them years ago from Seaside Heights. I just cleaned out the crane over and over again. That's back when cranes were like 25 cents. So yeah, they were really easy. There's my Furby 2.0, who's unfortunately dead at the moment, but he's wearing that 8 bit bow tie that I got from one of my monthly boxes, either Arcade Block or One Up Box. I'm not totally sure. Here's my little furblings that I got for Christmas. Yes, don't judge, I like these little furry creatures. Hey, it's cool with me. Goomba, very neat. Chucky doll, amazing. Well, it's not really a doll, it's more of a pop vinyl figure. Eight bit glasses, Rubik's Cube, which I've yet to solve. Steve from Minecraft. There's a Minecraft set that I built from, I think it was Lego. Minecraft torch, and a little sheepy dude. Where to next? Left or right? Left or right? Let's go left. This is a little Toon Link plushie. This is a monkey that I've had since I was a little kid. I named him Munker. He's holding a beer. I don't know why. Maybe he is a drunk maniac, but you know what? He's great, and I've promised myself that I will take him throughout life and give him perhaps to my kids one day. Uh, this is a set of Dexter coasters. A question block. Question mark block. I don't know why I always get that wrong. A question mark block from, um, you know, just uh, Mario games in general, if you want to call it that. Um, Portal turrets. I love Portal. I'm a huge, huge fan of Portal. I'm still waiting on uh, Portal 3 Valve. But as you know, Valve doesn't typically make games with the number 3 in it. It's a long-running joke, but at this point, I don't think it's even a joke. It's probably a fact. And to the right of the portal turrets is Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. Very nice. And moving one cube to the right, we have my little Sphero ball thingy. Some rabbits from Rayman's Raving Rabbits, or whatever specific game they're from, I'm not sure, but I'm definitely a big fan of rabbits. I think they're hilarious, and I don't know, I just enjoy them. Here is a robot that sponsored me. Well, okay, the physical robot didn't sponsor me, but the company who makes Meep sponsored me a while back, so I'm proud to put him on my shelf. It's pretty cool. And he is actually self-balancing, but right now he's usually uh, using some kind of stand just to chill there. And here is a Sphero something. I'm not thinking of the name right now, but it's the same company, just different products. And boom, on the far right cube we have Two arcade cabinets, we have Pac-Man and Space Invaders, two RC choppers, and these little things, I can't think of what they're called right now, but they're little things that vibrate. Boom, look at that. They drive cats crazy, and they're a lot of fun. Jesus. All right, little critter. Oh, and this was from my friend Danny Minnick, the world's smallest drone. It's actually pretty cool. And zooming right over here, this is my Boon Glow nightlight kind of thingy. It's really, it's really meant for like kids and whatever. Um, oh, this fur because Maui likes to crawl in here. This doesn't really go here. This is temporary until I put it somewhere. But I did conveniently place these shelves right in front of this high placed um, outlet. Set of outlets, I should say. So I'm hoping to put some kind of lights 
up top, such as the Boon Glow light and maybe even this. Please ignore my messy bedroom. The Tix Clock. Yes, the Tix Clock could finally move into my office. And yes, would you look at that? I'm getting an early start on Christmas this year. Why not? So yes, the Tix Clock could end up up there in just a matter of days. But anyway, going back down here, we have a very thick and very heavy watchdogs guide that a viewer was nice enough to send me. Now granted, I'm not going to use this because I don't really need it, but it's definitely a great collector's item. And I can very much appreciate the fact that somebody actually took the time. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure a team did it. Look guys, they actually took the time to write this in-depth guide with all these screenshots in full color. That's a lot of paper and I just very much respect the amount of work that goes into making products like that possible. Um, we have the cut the rope little dude. Can't think of his name right now, crap. I, I, I feel bad. And Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat 10. Or X as some people like to say, but I say Mortal Kombat 10. Omnom, that's it, his name is Omnom. I've not played cut the rope in so long, but still, it's a good mobile game if you're into that style. And it's physics based. You guys know I love my physics. All right, we are getting there. We are quickly nearing the end. This is my Zoomer Dino, which doesn't look like much, but it's actually a pretty impressive piece of tech because it self balances once it actually stands. It can spin, it has motion sensors in front, it can pause if it sees your hand, it can turn when you do this. It's actually pretty cool. I think it retails for like $100, definitely not cheap, but if you factor in how, how much tech goes into making this little thing possible, then it might be worth it. And finally, over here on the far right, we have these Tetris blocks that I believe deserve to be placed up top. So what you see now could change very quickly. But for now, I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, I'm a fan of Tetris. I'm not gonna say I'm a diehard fan of Tetris, but I definitely appreciate the game and all the history behind it, and especially the music. The music is great. And this I bought at Walmart the other night, a Call of Duty Mega Block set of Nuketown. Yes, 689 pieces. Okay, so this may not be Nuketown 3 in Black Ops 3, but you know what? It's still Nuketown, and I'm definitely looking forward to building this. I just gotta find the time, because later today I gotta work on a website for a client, and then finish editing the weekend vlog and all that good stuff. And these are my newest amiibo, Inkling Boy and Inkling Girl from Splatoon. I don't care about Splatoon at all. I have yet to play it. I don't think I'll ever play it. It's just, I don't know, not a game that interests me all that much. But guys, you know what? I love Amiibo, so I figured I need to add these to my collection, finally, because it's something I've been thinking about for a while now, so I'm glad I finally did it. And that is that. A somewhat brief and organized slash unorganized tour of my shelves and cubes and whatever else you want to describe this as. I think it's a good start with, of course, many changes to come. But my favorite part of the shelf is definitely the top, all of my Amiibo. Oh, these aren't really Amiibo. I got these figures at Geek Fest. Here's Toad, Fire Mario, and a Goomba. Two of these items came with a coin each, which I think, which, which I think is pretty cool. Come on, focus. It's not that hard. All right, there you go. And I got the Fire Mushroom with Fire Mario, which makes sense. And finally, last but not least, I really, really enjoy these. I got some 8-bit collectibles of Mario right there and Donkey Kong, which just looks awesome. And well, there you go. I mean, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not meant to be anything too exciting or riveting, but honestly, I have a busy week coming up, so I wanted to get something simple out and hopefully something interesting enough for you guys to enjoy. But anyway, as always, Thank you so much for your support, and if you're interested, again, in any of the Amiibo that I have, just check out davidstings.com. These are always added there right away, as well as my video games and my consoles and my technology, all that stuff, my monitors. Just saying, go to it, check it out. Oh, and follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash davidsthings. So guys, thank you once again. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.